Hello and welcome to part 4 of this four-part video demo on generating X parameters from circuit level designs. My name is Jack Sifri and in this video demo I will show you how X parameter models are used to perform system level wireless verification with accuracy and much faster simulation speed. In video one, I explained what X parameters are and demonstrated using ADS how easy and fast it is to generate an X parameter model from an LTE circuit level power amplifier. I showed how the X parameter model is as accurate as the circuit level design in all dimensions, linear and nonlinear, and ideal to use in a system that contains cascaded 50 ohm matched modules. In video 2, I expanded the model generation process and produced a more versatile load-dependent model that was very accurate with any load impedance on the Smith chart. The load-dependent model was then used to accurately characterize the cascaded effect of non-50 ohm mismatched modules with faster simulation speed. In video 3, I showed how to generate an X parameter model with two input tones. The model was then used to accurately determine intermodulation distortion products and third order intercept point. In order to accurately determine the linearity of systems or circuits that are excited with fully modulated sources, wireless verification tests are commonly used. Trajectory, constellations, and spectral displays along with measures such as ACLR, power added efficiency, and EVM are typical specs that are used in such analysis. This video demo illustrates how the X parameter model is used in place of the circuit level PA to perform accurate EVM wireless verification tests with much faster simulation speed. Determining these wireless specs in ADS is very easy. All you have to do is insert either the circuit level PA or the X parameter model into this test bench and click on the simulate button. This test bench has an LTE source identical to Agilent Signal Studio for LTE application that you use in the lab. The source excites the device under test and outputs the wireless spec measures that you specify. Notice in this test bench, I can either simulate the X parameter model by deactivating the circuit level PA, or I can simulate the circuit level PA by deactivating the model. This plot shows P in versus P out results of the LTE PA. In order to maintain linearity, I will test the PA for EVM at input power of minus 2 dBm which is slightly before its 1 dB compression region. Notice here I'm using Ptolemy System Simulator, which co-simulates with Envelope Circuit Simulator to perform the EVM verification on the PA design at the circuit level. So if I push into this block here, you can see the Envelope Sub-Circuit Level setup, which also includes a duplexer and an antenna at its output. Here, as a PA designer working in a design house, I have modeled the duplexer with a filter and a coupler, followed by a 50 ohm termination for the antenna. On the other hand, the system integrator, who has access to the circuit level duplexer and antenna from other design houses, can use them along with the PA X parameter model to evaluate the real EVM measure and then immediately feed it back to the PA design house should there be any needed modification to improve the PA performance. After having simulated both circuit level PA and X parameter model separately, let me now show you the results. Here is the EVM results using the X parameter model. EVM is shown to be 11.1%. Next, if I switch to the data file of the circuit level PA, I see that EVM is 11.2%. So we have 11.1% using the X parameter model versus 11.2% using the circuit level PA.
Again, this clearly illustrates the accuracy of the model. And it's important to mention that the simulation speed using the X-parameter model was 25 times faster than that using the circuit level PA. This allows system integrators to perform various trade-off and what-if analysis very effectively. For example, because it is much faster to simulate using the X-parameter model, I was able to quickly simulate and generate this EVM plot at 16 different input power points from minus 10 to plus 5 dBm. I can move my marker to any input power level. The constellation and EVM automatically updates. So here's the constellation at minus 8 dBm and here's the constellation at plus 2 dBm with a corresponding EVM equal 15%, and here it is at minus 2 dBm. X parameters can be generated from both simulation using ADS and measurement using the nonlinear vector network analyzer for faster design development. These four videos were focused only on generating X parameters models from circuit level designs using ADS. There are other videos available that explain the measurement side as well. On this slide, we see how the component vendors and IC design houses are able to measure their packaged components using the NVNA and quickly generate an IP protected X parameter model that can be easily simulated in ADS and given to the system house to use in their higher up system simulation and trade off analysis. The system house can also create nonlinear system level specs and feed them back to the component vendors and IC design houses. For the newly created designs in ADS, Component vendors and IC design houses can use ADS to generate X parameter models from their circuit level designs and quickly give them to the system house to use in their higher up system simulation and trade off analysis, just as I have shown you in these four videos. With these generated X parameter models, you get high accuracy, fast simulation, and fully IP protected models. So we see that Agilent delivers the benefits of X-parameter technology in many ways. Through measuring X-parameters with the Agilent NVNA, through simulating and generating X-parameter models from circuit level designs in ADS, and in the future we will be bringing X-parameter technology to Agilent ESOF EDA's Genesis and System View platforms. If you need more information on X parameters, please visit these two web pages. And to request your free X parameter generator trial license in ADS, please visit this third web page and fill out the request form. Thank you for watching this series of videos.